Dimension Style, Primary Units tab. Let's go up into our Annotate tab, over into our Dimensions panel, and let's pick on this lower right hand a corner. And that'll bring us to our Dimension Style Manager. I have a Dimension Style called Mechanical Inch. Let's modify that. Let's go to our Primary Units. In our Primary Units, we can choose a type of units. Uh, that we want for our dimensions. This is different than our units command. So I can pick, in this case, since it's mechanical, I'm going to go with decimal. Now my precision, I can pick the precision or how many decimal places I want. Um, so if I was going to a machine shop, I would pick three decimal places. If I was not so precise, I can say I want two decimal places. If I was building a part for NASA, you know, I'd go to four decimal places or tenths of, tens of a thousandth of an inch. So I'm just going to go two decimal places here. If I were to choose an architectural, then I can choose what style my fraction is, either horizontal or diagonal. Um, but I don't have that ability in decimal because I don't have fractions. My decimal separator is a period. That's the most common, but we could use comma in Europe for example or a space I could round dimensions off I'm not a fond of rounding them off just uh, let's round it off I don't like that at all um, I also have a prefix a prefix is to add something in front of the text box so we might add something like SR for spherical radius or something like that a suffix is when we place something at the end of something and we might put like max max for the abbreviation for maximum there um, down in our measurement scale we could put in our measurement scale a scale factor so we could put something like two and it will make all our dimension valuables twice the size of whatever it is that it measures down in our model um, we also could say apply that uh, to a layout dimensions only so only if we're in paper space in our layouts which we'll use in AutoCAD 2 we could apply that zero suppression zero suppression is an area in which we suppress our primary uh, unit leading or trailing in this case, if I want to suppress the leading unit, I check this. So, um, if I uncheck the leading unit, I could get something like 0 0.5. So, for anything less than 1, it would show the 0. Um, this is this is option is good for, like, metric. Um, but, if I check the leading to remove... The, the leading zero then if it was like less than one like it would just say 0. 0.5 and uh, so applying this option the leading uh, is to create inch dimensions that is recommended by ASME um, the leading checkbox note is not available for architectural units all right if I uncheck the trailing units uh, after the decimal point, uh, then it's going to leave all them trailing zeros. So we'll have 0 0.5000, for example. And um, this is suitable for our decimal inch dimensioning because those help control our tolerances for manufacturing. So uh, we also have these trailing uh, zeros down here for zero feet and zero inches. Uh, this is available for the architectural and engineering units. And we ch check zero feet, trailing zero feet. Um, so uh, when there are zero feet, we won't say zero feet, six inches. I will just say six inches, for example. Um, over here in our angular dimensions, these are for our uh, angles, and we will typically go with decimal degrees. Civil surveyors use decimal minutes and seconds, which they break up 
uh, subunits of a degree into 360ths of a degree. Um, but decimal degrees, uh, we're basically saying it's 45 degrees point something. Our precision is zero. That we're just saying it's either 45 or 46. It's one or the other. If I have one decimal in my degree, I'm going to say it's, I could go 45.5. So I'm breaking it up into tenths of a unit. I could also suppress the leading zero if I'm less than one, for example. So decimal degrees are kind of hard to measure. So typically, we're just rounding it to the nearest degree or to the nearest tenth of the degree is the most kind of common here uh, for most applications. So our primary units are how we set up our units for our dimensions. It's not the units command, which is totally different. So we're setting up our units for, for our dimensions. In this case, I have a mechanical inch. I'm setting up in decimal, two precision places. If I wanted to go to the machine shop, I'd go to three. And then I would set up all the other factors accordingly.